Hey guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I'm going to be showing you my loadout for Brains 3 that took place yesterday, uh, March 23rd at Fallen Warriors. So we're going to start at my top, uh, real quick, up top with my face stuff just because I want to get off my face. Um, so up top we have ESS Turbo Fans. Now, I'm gonna, in this video I'm kind of going to explain what I have and like why I have it. Um, if your playing style is similar to mine, you might want to get some of the same stuff. Or something similar. If not, maybe something else would work better for you. Um, but these are ESS Turbo Fans. This is pretty um, standard. Everyone has to have goggles, and when goggles fog up, you just you hate it. Um, it's not fun when goggles fog up because then you can't see anything, and then you hate it, and you're like, oh, man, this sucks. So get a, get a pair of good goggles. That's like the first thing. Um, these are ESS Turbo Fans. Uh, they're very very nice. Um, they're a little bit expensive if you're um, not able to find a deal. I was able to find a guy who's getting out of the sport, so I got a really, really good price on him. Um, regular ESS profile goggles are very good. Um, flat, arena flak jacks are good. And another thing you need to have, uh, this is a mesh lower face mask. I'm only 17, so at Fallen Warriors, you are required to wear them. I wear these anywhere else regardless because I do not want my face shot. I do not want my teeth shot out um, because I like to charge into buildings. Um, and if people are right around the corner, you run around, they're going to pull the trigger instinctively unless they have very good control, but with a lot of younger players at the events, especially like brains that aren't used to airsoft and stuff, um, you have a lot of problems with that. So a mesh lower face mask is not necessary, especially since you're a zombie, if people are, you're going to be up trying to tag them with both hands. Um, next, we'll go melee weapon. Uh, this is something I let my friend use because I brought a bunch of friends. Um, they didn't have anything, so I would keep a nerf axe maybe. Um, but this is something you need to have some sort of weapon. Um, this is kind of short. It's longer compared to this. Um, but the longer like your weapon you have, the longer you can reach out and touch zombies. So that's necessary if you're looking for that. I have a uh, Nerf Ninja Sword because I've had this for a long time. It's one of like, the G.I. Joe ones. Um, and it works really well because I was able to just smack zombies away from me and they couldn't get too close. Uh, most of the time I was using my gun anyway because I didn't get too close to the zombies. I'd let them, or I'd run away because I'm pretty fast, um, and then I just shoot them so they couldn't come get me. But if there's 20 zombies, you can't run fast enough if all of them are coming at you and you turn around, they're already right there. So on to my gun. I'll just take my gloves up real quick and show these to you. Um, gloves are necessary because if you're running and trying to touch people, there is an instant of a guy who reached up and actually grabbed the guy's barrel and got shot in the hand. Um, these are Oakley Hard Knuckle Gloves. Um, these are very good padding wise. Um, they have some sweet Kevlar on the grips, I mean, that's not really necessary. Um, but if a BB does hit those, you will not feel it for sure. Um, but they provide very good padding. Um, they fit well to my hands, um, and they're very, very comfortable to use. I have a bunch of range of motion. I get a much better grip right here. Um, I'm able to pull the trigger perfectly fine, and they don't interfere. So with that, um, next you're going to want to have some sort of sling, because when you're a zombie, you have to have a sling because you got to put your gun away unless you want to put it in a building. And I'm just not so sure if I want to leave my gun um, where people have the opportunity to steal it or anything. Because I don't mind carrying on me. This is not a very big gun. This is my uh, GMP Baby Monster. Uh, I've done a lot of customizations to it. Internally, it is actually completely stock. Um, I've put on a Magpul MOE grip. Um, I put on an upper lower to match the Skull Frog right there. Um, I have a 7.4 LiPo on the top. I have my light. You have to have a light. This is very important. This is a GMP T2 light. It is 170 lumens. Um, it also has a really cool strobe function. This is something I just use for fun. Oops. There we go. It's a strobe function. You don't, I didn't use it yesterday because um, I didn't want, there was apparently someone there with epilepsy, which I didn't know, so... Uh, usually I'll just have the strobe on if I'm like clearing a building, um, but 107 the lumen light, you need to have a good flashlight. That is very, very important. Um, I picked this gun because it's very light, um, it's very small, compact. When you're running around, uh, I would just let it hang from here most of the time and I just walk around um, because I just have the weight on this one point sling up here. So it was a lot more comfortable for that reason. Um, next onto my chest rig, uh, this is a Pantac chest rig. Um, they, you're encouraged not to wear any like full military vests or anything, um, so I just wore this because this is just a standard 
chest ring. Um, I don't know which one this is exactly. I found it for 20 bucks at my um, local surplus store. So it's just got a bunch of mag pouches. I only ran at a high cap the entire night because I knew we would not have many mags. Um, I also got uh, six kitty bay polymer mags from a guy there. Um, so I was thinking about just using that. So each of these pockets holds two mags. Um, so I can hold eight mags there. Um, and then I have longer side pockets right there um, that I can use for if I need to like, carry stuff. Like on my left one, I had a mag in here just as like extra if I, very last minute I had like 20 rounds in a, one of the kitty bay mid caps just in case. Like I ran out of my high cap and I just had to switch really quick. Um, I had my zombie flag in there. I didn't actually need this because I didn't. In the, during the day, I didn't get turned into a zombie. Um, but just in case, um, and at night you really couldn't tell anyway because they were all right beside you. Um, also, I have this. This is just kind of like a cool toy. This is a green laser light. Um, I got it off Evike. It was like a ninety dollar thing. I got it from uh, another trade. Um, so I got it really. I got it for like ten bucks, I think. Um, but it's really really cool. It can shine across the entire field. If you guys saw it, that was me shining. And no, it is not illegal to the one guy who said, It's not illegal. No, it's completely legal. Um, you just shouldn't shine at the air because that's just stupid. Because um, sometimes the airplanes, I don't know if it actually affects them. Um, but I know the beam is much wider the farther it goes. Because when it went across the field, it was a much brighter beam. Um, I'm going to give you other weaponry ideas. This is my friend's uh, spring pump shotgun. I let my friend use it, or it was my spring shotgun, sorry. Um, I let him use it because he had his AMG go down. Um, but that's perfectly if you want to get something right there just to like sling it on the side and then use it. Um, also, if it had been warmer out, I would have used my uh, Blackhawk Serpa holster on my belt um, with my custom Kimber 1911. If, but that's, it was really cold out, so I just didn't use it because when it's cold, gas guns do not function as you well know. Um, I had a dump pouch just in case I had anything. I threw my BB bags in there. Um, I threw this in there one time because I was like, I don't need a speed loader. I'm using a high cap, so I just threw that in there. Um, I threw my laser light in there at one point. Um, I just like to keep a dump pouch, um, especially if I'm changing mags, which uh, would be necessary. Um, two other ideas that I had. These are my Togemarie Desert Eagles. I would have loved to dual wield them. Again, the weather was kind of bad. Um, and then this one, I actually got from a guy, but it's cracked, which is a problem. It still shoots, um, kind of, not really. Um, but then this one I got from another guy. It's really nice. So this, I, I just have a problem because of the fact I can't use it on a drop leg holster, and that's where I like it, and I, couldn't, I didn't really want to put it in a vest because good luck fitting it in a pocket like that. It's a freaking hand cannon. Um, and then another idea, maybe, I saw a guy with the um, Tokyo Marie MP7, that was awesome. Um, that's a good idea for using if you want to use for like a zombie type game. Um, I saw a guy with a KWA MP9, which is really cool. Uh, KWA MP7 would work as well. This is uh, an um, KWA FPG, this is my friends. Um, it's really, really cool. It's, he has problems with it right now, um, but he, I, he just gave me that as an idea to show you. Like, that'd be a really cool idea. Because if you're carrying, a, like, I mean, you just walk around like a box. Um, it's super light. You could attach, uh, this is what I did with the sling. I just tied a bunch of bungee string. Uh, I took these off my open top mag pouches um, and then tied them super tight in a bunch of knots. So I was able to have, like, five um different loops that I just slipped my uh, sling through so it wasn't putting too much stress on the sling and uh, I was able to have it at the perfect height which I like it. So yeah guys that basically sums it all up that's what I wear. Um, for clothing wise you need to wear something that's warm. I wore Under Armour as a complete base layer. Um, for the day I just had an uh, overshirt. Uh, this is just I don't even know this is just probably something I got at, like thrift shop or something, and then I have a pair of jeans, which I destroyed as far as uh, running around goes. Um, it was actually not that muddy, so that was really cool, but you were going to be crawling during the day, you were going to be sliding, uh, you're going to want to wear something that is, I mean, it's meant to be like, look like a civilian, everyone wears jeans. 
Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically like what my video entails. Um, if you have any comments, go ahead and tell me. Uh, say if you even have a video response. I've never had this happen before. Um, post a video response of like what you wear. That'd be sweet. Um, I could even repost it on my channel if you wanted me to. Um, I'd, I'll probably put this on Airsoft Ohio just in the thread. It's just like an idea because I knew there were, there were a lot more younger players out there that didn't exactly know what like what to bring and stuff. So I just kind of use this as a helpful thing. Uh, I mean, I'm still young, being 17, but I've played quite a few airsoft games over the years, um, and I've had instruction from guys that have played the prior two brands. They're like, dude, you need to have a chest rig of some sort. Um, you want to keep kind of a small gun. You don't want to pack heavy at all, because you're going to be running around, and I did definitely run around. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.